Hey everybody, Brendan with KungFuNerd.com. Today we're going to do how to do crow or how to do bakasana or crane or frog. It's honestly the most important arm balance posture you could learn in order to help practice all the other arm balancing postures you want to learn in the future. It's the foundation for any other posture really. So let's jump right in. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do crow. So we're going to look at how we place our hands on the ground. So let's pretend this is where we want to place our hands. Pretend. <laughs> okay, so when we place our hands on the ground to get into crow, okay, first, maybe you guys don't know what crow is. So let's do what crow is really quick. Let's go back. Crow, crane, straighten your arm, and frog. It's kind of the same thing, but the knees go to the outside and they stay bent. In calisthenics, that's frog. And crow's knees are back on the back of the tricep and crane is straight. Okay? So, that was maybe a bad example because I was using a weird foundation, but still, we're looking at our hands right now. When we place our hands on the ground for crow, sometimes we cup our hands like this and we start to wiggle. We cup our hands to try to gain control. It's understandable that you want to gain control with your fingertips because that's what you want to do, but you don't want to cup your hands. You want to press your hands as firmly as you can into the ground, especially with this part, the L, the magic L, as I call it. So pressing in with the L, if you see people who do planches, they press so hard into the L that sometimes the rest of the hand just comes up and they're just in this L right here, the magic L. So we're going to press our entire hand into the ground. We're not going to cup. We're not going to roll to the edge. We're not going to roll up. Okay, press firmly down into the ground. We're not going to squeeze our fingers up or do any weird stuff like this. Okay, this is the foundation. This is how we're rooting into the ground. It's super important. So your hand is spread evenly. Now let's move on to the next part. So you got to spread your fingertips on the ground. So ideally, what we want to do is place both of our fingertips spread out evenly with the L, with our pointer fingers and the L's matching up parallel. So they're a little bit out. Now if you look, when I'm set up like this, if you go from forward fold and place your hands out down the ground and then bend your knees a little bit and then bend your elbows back, that's the perfect position for you to roll your weight forward, stacking your knees on your triceps or up into your armpits. Whichever one you feel more comfortable doing, practice either one. Lean forward, you build a shelf with your chest right here to solidify, lean forward, pick one of your toes up. So one's up by your butt, the other's down. Pick the other up if you feel comfortable or just practice switching until you can pick both up. If you're afraid to fall forward, that's understandable. Place a pillow in front of your face and just keep practicing so you can stack like this. If your knees slide out to frog, that's okay. People in doing calisthenics, they call this frog, that's fine. But I prefer for you to stack your knees back up onto your elbows if you can. And then eventually try to straighten all the way to crane. Okay? So, if you're having trouble getting into that position, one, could be a strength issue. So you can practice just doing push-ups or you can do half push-up pull or a half plank hold. So for that, you would be in plank, you would lower down halfway about where your elbows would be for crow. You just hold this and build strength here. Okay? If it's not a strength issue for you, if it's a wrist flexibility thing, if your wrists feel weak, you have to keep practicing. Stay where you are. You're doing great. If it's something where you just feel like you can't even get your body into that ball, I have some people, they get close to here, they can't even lift off in frog, and they get frustrated, that's fine. Stay right here, lean forward, keep pressing, lifting, pressing, lifting, maybe one leg at a time, maybe one leg back in plank, and the other leg you bring up, tuck, bring it to your elbow, and then bring it back, and do the other side. Okay, and keep practicing that. Build strength here. Try to jump into the other side. Jump back out. Okay? 
There's a lot of variations, but practicing crow or prakasana is the foundation of any other arm balances you want to accomplish. So make sure to practice it diligently. Think about your hand position. Think about your elbows pointing back towards you. And remember to practice and all is coming. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.